Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away It is Friday today. It is the 31st. So I wanted to show you, I had this little coupon booklet and I got it from free from somewhere. I don't even know, but I have all of these coupons and gift cards in here that I could use and I've had it for years and I've used it and it's still in really good shape. So I've been using that. We get paid every other week. So we are a week into that budget and I wanted to show you what I had left in my envelopes. This is my food envelope. And I have 219.87 left in that, in that one, which is really good. And that's out of 400. So I'm pretty much right on target there. Now Corey's been gone all week, so that is my groceries. Sorry, there's a squirrel outside. Hold on. Trying to keep the dogs away from the S word is really crazy because they see them outside and they go nuts. So I do, I can't say the word out loud, but it's an, you know what I mean. Okay, so we have gas money. Now this one, what I did with this one is I am doing the Budget Mom Challenge for January, which means that I had to take out, I, I only did a two letter word because I started late in the month. So I had two Fridays left to take out. So I keep my challenges in this little envelope, which I had, by the way, I, I had these downstairs. We use them for tax taxes. So I usually put tax of 2019 in here and I keep every year in taxes in these little snap and they're, they're really sturdy. So this one, uh, my letter was at because I couldn't think of really another two letter word that I could use. So I started on 118, which is why I did the two letter word. And one would be, I saved one dollar $1 on that Friday. And then the second Friday is my word, my letter T, and I would save $20 out for that. So I have $21 saved out of that. And you take them out of your cash envelopes. So I took out $20. Here you can see the challenge here. I took out $20 of my gas money and put it in my envelope there to save it. I put $10 in Corey's car because I was driving that. So I refilled his car while he was gone this week. And I have actually have $20 left, so that should be plenty. I have gas in my car yet for this week, so it should be plenty to last me throughout this next week. So that's why I took that out of that envelope. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take it out of your, these challenges are supposed to come out of your cash envelopes. So I put that in my extra savings. I'm not sure if I mentioned that I all the ones that I completed, I'm going to keep in here and I'm going to use them again next year, which is why I label them monthly challenges, January through December. I'm going to go ahead and reuse these next year. My next one is beauty and I have $70 in that envelope. I had 20, but then I took out 50 extra because I forgot to budget in for mine and Nick's haircuts and my hair color. So I took an extra 50 out of the bank. So I put that in there. To schedule my appointment for that but I will add it to my budget and now my beauty envelope will be going up because I remembered hey we got haircut so I had to budget for that but I forgot to budget for it last month so Corey let me get away with that one because <laughs> he gives me the money for all of this and then what I do is I just pay all of our household stuff and he pays the other bills so this is all the bills that I have to pay with the money he gives me so this is my this is my miscellaneous. I have 274 left in my miscellaneous, so I can't really spend too much more out of that one. I had to do some shipping and then I bought a couple baskets at the Dollar Tree for $2. So that's what my miscellaneous was. This is my eating out. We still have 1337 left after the week. I bought Nick a sub at 663. So we start out with 20 eating out. Usually that goes for Nick on Subway because Corey and I don't eat out. So we have 1337 left for this week for him in the caches, you know, I keep the cash in there. So then we have household and I spent $2.60 on coffee filters so far. So I have 47.40 left in my household for the week. That's awesome. And then this is pet care. I don't have anything in there because it's another one I forgot about. Thankfully we didn't need anything right now. So when next week I will be putting 35 in our pet envelope and that's just for food. We just bought two big bags of food, so we should be good for a few weeks. Oh, so, sorry, squirrel again, hold on. And then my last envelope is my personal money, which I spend on whatever I want. I only have a dollar twelve left in there because you can see Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks. Took some post office money out of there 
to ship some stuff to a couple friends of mine. So that was three oh five for shipping there. And then the rest is Starbucks. And if you guys know me at all through my channel, you know I am a Starbucks junkie. And I stopped buying Starbucks and I'm like, no, I'm not going to because I want to know exactly what I'm spending on Starbucks and what I usually buy at Starbucks for this week and I might do it for the whole month of February just because I want to know the entire month like I didn't start I didn't start this budgeting process till the 18th so I don't have many days where I can really figure out exactly how much I'm spending on Starbucks so I may just do it regularly through February and then I can see where I need to cut down or how much I need to cut down I'm not going to eliminate Starbucks totally because I love Starbucks and that's one of the things that I absolutely love. Usually I only spend $3.11 when I go to Starbucks because I get I just get a quad espresso and I add a premier protein to it. I usually only get that, but I've been getting Nick a cookie lately, so it's been coming up to like five bucks. He doesn't really need a cookie there anymore either. I, I will get one once in a great while for him, but usually we don't even get that for him. I will show you my sinking funds. This is what I have for sinking funds. So I have $25 in here for my desk chair that I have been saving for. So I just have the 25 in there right now. And then next week I will be adding another 25. That will allow me to be able to buy my chair because my chair is about 50 bucks. And then I save 20 bucks out for the grandbabies. And then we save for our toothbrush heads because I think they're like super expensive. We have the electric toothbrushes and the heads for those are like 50 bucks for a pack of them. I usually only have to buy those once in a great while. And then I have extra savings, which I have $87 in here. So I have all of my cash in there. And that is just for anything that we need that could be extra that we're going to spend on. And then this is for my monthly challenges. So I'm saving up January through December. So I have January done because it is the 31st. So today I added my $20 in there that I needed and I just paper clipped those together. And this is my January challenge all ready to go. So now I'll be starting February challenge next, but that, those are what I have for sinking funds. So now I want to show you my updated, this is my checking account expenses. So you can see that I have the orange is deposit. So what I've been doing is I've been going through what we've been spending on Amazon and I've been noticing this $7.33 coming through every month and I hadn't been really checking my checking account thoroughly because I've been spending so much on Amazon that I didn't really notice it. And so when I stopped spending on Amazon, I started noticing this 733 coming through. So I called them and I said, hey, what is this 733 that is coming through my account? And it's and I looked back in all of my statements and it was every single month on the same day. I had no idea what it was, which is the danger of shopping so much on Amazon because these little charges come through and you don't even know. So then I called them and they said, oh, that is a, rom a romance audible book subscription. And I said, I did not order that. I don't even like romance. I don't read them. I've been noticing on my Audible account that I've been having romance books and I just thought they were coming through and they were free. So I didn't even, I just deleted them. I didn't even read them. I just deleted them. And so I told her, I said, I, you can look on my account. I have never even opened these books. I haven't read them and I don't want this subscription. I'm not sure how it even got on there. I must have clicked something in the app accidentally because it's so easy to do that be careful when you go in in your app with clicking on anything especially anything that says unsubscribe which I'll get to next for this 1583 but yeah so she refunded me all of the um month's worth so this is 733 733 733 so these are all deposits in my account and so this 1583 here it was a refund also and what happened there was I had this, I, this is when I was checking my account really well in after January 18th. And I kept going in my bank account every single morning to check what came through so I could check it off on here because these are my bills that come through automatically. And I like to put a check mark when they come through. So every morning I go in my checking account and I check to see if those went through. So I know they're out of my account. So I asked her, I said, what is this 1583 for? 
because I called Amazon and she says, oh, this is you unsubscribing so you don't get the ads on your Prime videos. And I said, I didn't, I never did that. The only thing I could think of was when I saw this coming through, I went in and I unsubscribed, which I thought was what I was getting charged for. And I unsubscribed from it. And she said, no, that was you unsubscribing to not getting ads, which is really tricky way to word it, isn't it? So that charge came through. It never said anything about a charge when you unsubscribe, never, not a word about it. And so I had this charge come through and she refunded me for that. So if you see any weird charges, make sure you make sure if you shop on Amazon, check those charges out. Make sure they're only coming out what you actually ordered, because I've been noticing this and I got it all refunded. Thank goodness. And then these down here are my Smarty Picks coming out. So I have two yearly goals that I've been saving for. I've been saving for my camera and a desk chair. So this is where this 18 and 20 is coming out from. And that is my Smarty Pig. And I, if you guys are, if you guys don't know what Smarty Pig is, check it out. But before you even start the sign up process, be sure to ask me to send you a link because if you start the sign up process and you give me your email, it won't take it because I know somebody wanted me to send them the link for this and it wouldn't take it. And I called Smarty Pig and I said, is it because they started the sign up process? And he said, if they put their email in at all during the sign up process, even before they start adding any kind of goals, it won't accept it. So don't even start the process. Message me your email. My email is in the description box below. Email me your email address. I will send you the link and you can get $10 when you sign up and I can get $10. So that is really a cool deal. You don't, it doesn't cost you a penny. It doesn't cost me a penny. We just both get $10 if you sign up and start saving. I think you have to save $25 in the month or whatever, but it's, it's a small amount. But if you start up like two small goals, you're there. Very helpful. You get 1.75% interest on this. We've been doing this for years. It's very safe. You do have to link your bank account, but we've never have had we have never had an issue with them with anything. They've it takes about three days to get your money into your bank account, which is why we like it, because you can't just spend it on a whim. You have to be aware that it's gonna take three days to get to your account. It's very helpful. You don't miss the money. It comes out every paycheck or every month, whichever you could do it every week, every bi-weekly or every month. And you can take it out of your paycheck right away. You don't even really miss it. So that is awesome. I love it. We use it all the time. Corey uses it. He has a ton of Smarty Pigs. He has our auto insurance. He has our gas. He has our anything that is a large amount taxes. He has all of that being saved out of every single paycheck that we get. So we have the money when it's due. Like I just ordered gas yesterday because we had $600 to be able to fill our, our LP tank, which was awesome. It's so helpful. And so I did that yesterday and I called my husband and I said, hey, do we have that money available? And he says, yeah, we do. So I ordered it because we were at 7% and I don't want to freeze this winter. So I ordered gas yesterday and it should be here today. Helpful, so helpful, because otherwise to come up with $600 to fill your LP tank, it only happened to be 400 but usually it depends on what their price is per gallon. Sometimes it can be up to $600, and we just don't have that kind of money right offhand. We would have to charge it, and I, we don't want to charge anything on any cards anymore. And then, so that's where all of these deposits are coming from. And then if you move over to my cash spending one, that was my checking account. This is what I spend on cash every day. The blue is all grocery. I do have a couple Starbucks in here that I took out of my grocery money before I thought, no, I don't want to do that. I want to take it out of my personal because that's technically my personal spending money. It shouldn't come out of my grocery money. So I changed that up and you won't see this on grocery anymore. <laughs> It'll just be coming out of my personal money. I have withdrawals here in orange. I spent some stuff at Barnes & Noble for the grandbabies. Personal is in yellow. That's all Starbucks and post office, as you can see there. And then I have gas in green, which I only used $10 of my gas money so far. Subway, this is eating out money. And this brighter blue, you can see there's only one eating out there. 
This is household, so I don't have many. This is like the dull. I use the mild liners for most of these. I love these mild liners. They're really light. Plus they give me a bunch of different colors. And then I also use these darker highlights from Sharpie. I really like those. So when I, I need just a different tone of color because I have so many different items up here that I want to highlight and so many different things coming out that I want to be sure that I have enough different colors to use. And of course I had these items. Well, actually these I bought on Amazon recently because I had a credit. So I thought I'm going to get these because I really want them. And so I bought those, but I returned a lot of stuff. Okay. Another thing too, is I had a bunch of, I bought a bunch of these type of things and I thought, you know what? I don't need these. I will never use them. This is plenty. I can, I can, throw a notes page in there from a tablet if I need to, write some notes or whatever. So I don't need these sort of things. And these are like almost 10 bucks on Amazon, you know, for different things. I had some other things that I returned. Well, I returned this and this package happened to be damaged when I got it. And so it asks you, are the damaged, are the package in good shape or damaged? And I said, yes, this was damaged when I got it. So they said, they gave me the refund on it, but they said to go ahead and keep this. So I'm using it. I returned a bunch of stuff. I haven't got the credits on it yet. As you can see, it did not come through my bank account yet, but I will have some more credits to add to this page when they do start coming in. A few of them are on my credit card. So I will have to do another page with credit card and get those additions added on there. But I just, I didn't need them. And I like, I'm not going to keep these if I'm not ever going to use them. And it doesn't make any sense because I don't, I don't technically need them. So I returned a bunch of stuff. I went to the UPS store. So simple, you guys. You walk in, you you get this code on your phone that they send you. You show it to them. They scan it. Boom, that's it. You don't need to package it. They package it and everything for you. Totally 100% free. So if you have anything recently that you purchased on Amazon that you don't want, you can go ahead and start the return process. I did not open my packages. I don't know if you can return them if they've been opened. I haven't tried that. These were all packages that I've never opened and super simple. It was so simple. It took me like two minutes when I got in there to scan. Each one has each item you have to scan. So I had, I think, four different things that I had to pop up on my phone and scan, but still they were really quick about it packaged it everything it was so nice so I did that I think most of them are on my credit card I will have one that comes through that will be in my checking account because I use my checking account for that but that is where I'm at right now I did start my February um budget so that is all budgeted the things highlighted in pink here will be paid with this paycheck here and things highlighted in blue will be paid in this one. For the month before on my last paycheck, let me give you an example. This paycheck here will be paying these highlighted in blue. And I also put a note here, I opened my dog food bake because I wanna know how long my dog food lasts me so I know when to budget for it. So I just opened my bag up here for, and all the dogs eat the same food. So it's gonna be really simple. They all eat exactly the same amount every single day. We measure it out. So this should be pretty accurate. And then, so this, Blue paycheck here, those two are paid with this one, as well as these ones here before I get paid on this day again. And I also got this one on there. So anything before this payday that's in blue is paid with this payday. So all of these will be paid with this paycheck. And then this pink one will be, will have all of these. This blue one will have these ones as well as the following month, these two here. So that is where, where I'm at there. I did start my budgeting process here. However, I shouldn't have because I'm going to have some extra income here with the things that I've returned. And I did forget. Um, I added some extra amount to my beauty for our hair. So I think I'm going to redo this page and rebudget everything. It's super simple. Like when you buy this um, PDF sheet, you can print off as many of these sheets as you want to. And this is from... I had this from Erin Condren a long time ago. They actually unpeel really easily. I already unpeeled this one once and stuck it back on and it, still, it held really nicely. I'm not sure how many times I'll be able to peel this off, but I'm going to redo this and just, um, I'm going to wait till the paycheck actually gets here before I do that. I'm going to be starting this 
challenge for February. This is the February challenge. And you save $25 a week. So this week, I will be saving 25, this week, 25, this week, 25, and this week, 25. It doesn't matter what day you take out money out of your cash envelopes. So all the cash envelopes that I refill on here will be coming out to fill this $25. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to work because I'm budgeted pretty close to zero. So I'm not sure if I will be able to even save that much. At the end of the month, after you save up all your money, what I'm going to do... You can save it for anything you want, but what I'm saving it for is to pay off. I'm doing the snowball method, and I'm paying off my Fleet Farm card right now. So anything I make from these envelopes every month at the end of the month, like my $26, is going to go on Fleet Farm bill. So that is due on the 26th. So I'm going to be, and you can make a payment at any time on any credit card. So you go in and do a separate payment. I have auto pay come out a minimum right now. I just had a phone call come through from my mother-in-law, so I'm not sure where I left off. But I think what I was saying is I'm going to be paying off my Fleet Farm credit card first. And then I'm going to snowball all the payments I make on Fleet Farm, which is about $60 a month. I'm going to snowball all of that, plus any extra, again, for the saving challenges that I make on the credit card. So it should be paid off super fast. Corey just got a Target card paid off that we had, so that one is done, and now we're going to snowball all those payments to the next one that he has. He has three credit cards that he's working on, and I think, well, I think now we're down to two, and then I have three that I'm working on. So we have six total with a balance on it. Some of them are not so high. They will should be paid off pretty quickly, but like the Target card, I think was $400 or something. So he just paid it off, and... It's gone now. So that little payment that we were making, which is only like 25 bucks, can go towards the next one. Saves us a lot of interest too. A ton of interest when you pay it off fast. I found a bunch of change. So what I do, I save up all of my change and I put it in little baggies of $10. So this is $10 worth of change and I just save it up until I get like 10 or $20 worth and then I add it as income on the next paycheck. And this change here, this change here, I kind of keep a, a note in there and how much I have in here. So $7 and change in here is all the change from my cash envelopes that I keep separate because I don't want a bunch of change inside my envelopes here. So I, I don't keep the change and I just put it in here and then I will change this into dollar bills and they will go back into my cash envelopes because at one point you have like, like my personal money, I should technically have 311 in there, which I only have, or 112 in there, which I only have a dollar because the 12 cents is in here. And then I'm going to just save this up. And then if I need to put some dollars back into my cash envelopes after a while, I'll do that. Or I will just keep saving this and put it in here once I reach $10. And then I will put it in my bank account as income. So that's what I do with all of my change. I'm not sure how Budget Mom does it, but... I think she saves all of her change for the entire year and then she cashes it out and then she'll use it on whatever, usually to pay um, bills, but she doesn't have any bills anymore because she paid all hers off. But that's what I would do with it. I would save it and just put it on my credit cards until my credit cards are paid off. So that's what I do with my change. But now I think that's it. I think I'm done. So we will talk to you guys next Friday for the budgeting part of this and then I will be doing some what I ate videos on Weight Watchers because that is my main channel is doing the what I ate videos so I'm still going to continue that but I do want to stay accountable for this so I'm going to add some budgeting videos in like probably just once a week do a budgeting video I'll keep that separate so if you guys aren't interested in budgeting you can just pass it on up but if you are go ahead and watch it thank you guys so much for watching Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share this if you think anybody else may like it. Bye guys. They're haunting me so I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep